Hello friends, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we will learn COBOL string handling. So this is the agenda. We will first learn about inspect, then string and then unstring. So inspect verb is used to count or replace the characters in a string. String operations can be performed on alphanumeric, numeric or alpha alphabetic characters. It is performed from left to right. Now we have two type of inspect statements. One is telling this is used to count the number of uh, number of characters in a string and then other one is replacing. This is used to replace the characters. So first we will start with uh, telling. So this is the syntax inspect input string telling output count for all characters. So what it will do is it will inspect this input string and it will count all the characters because we have given condition all characters. So in this the count of all the characters will come. Now next is replacing. So this is used to replace the string characters. This is the syntax inspect input string replacing all character 1 by character 2. Suppose here you have given A and here you have given B. So what it will do is in the string it will replace all the A characters like all the A's with B. So next is string. String verb is used to concatenate, concatenate two or more strings. So delimited by close is compulsory here. We will see the syntax and then it will be more clear. So string double string 1 delimited by space. So what does that mean in string 1 when, once it encounters the space it will take that part in then the next for next string we have given delimited by size. So it will take the complete string w string 2 irrespective of space or anything. So it will take all the bytes from there and then it will concatenate these two strings and it will put the result in w string. Then we have given with pointer option this is used to count the number of characters it has concatenated in this w string then on overflow or not on overflow these are optional ones so if it is an overflow like the number of characters are more in these two strings and they are not they are not coming in w string they are the size of w string is less than in that situation we have an overflow so here you can display any message like it's an overflow or not otherwise not on overflow we can also display message whether it's a success or not then you need to end the string so here this w string and string 1 input strings to be concatenated then we have w string here this is our output string then ws count it is used to count the length of the new string so next is unstring unstring verb is used to split one string into multiple substrings so here also delimited close is compulsory we will see the syntax unstring w string delimited by space so it means once it encounters the space it will stop at that position and it will put that part into w string 1 again it will start reading it again it encounters the space it will put that in w string 2 so here with pointer option it will count the number of characters in this uh, w string then we can give on overflow display this message if it's an overflow in this one or this string not on overflow display this message so this then you need to end the unstring so let's see all these functions practically. We will start with inspect statement. This is a simple module in which I have declared one variable ws string and I have declared ws count and count all. So what I will be doing is first of all I will be moving this into ws string then I will initialize ws count a and then we will use the inspect statement as we have discussed earlier inspect verb is used to count or replace the characters in a string string operations can be performed on alphanumeric numeric or alphabetic values inspect operations are performed from left to right then here you can see verb telling Telling option is used to count the string characters and here you can see replacing. Replacing option is used to replace the string characters. So we'll first start with telling option. Here what we are doing is uh, we are inspecting ws string. In ws string we have this data a, b, c, d and all these characters. Telling ws count a it means for all a. So it will count all a's present in this string and it will put that number into ws count a so i will repeat it again it will count all a's inside ws string 
and it will put the count in WS count A. Then we are displaying it count of a uh, count of A in string. It will display the count. Now next comes the replacing statement. In replacing statement, here what we are doing is we are replacing all A by X. You can mention first A, last A. So uh, there are different options. But as of now, we'll be replacing all A's with X. So then we'll initialize this WS count. Now we'll inspect this string again. And this time we'll again check for how many A are present in this string. Before that we have already replaced all the A A's by X. Now we'll check what's the count. So ideally the count should be zero this time because there is no A present in this thing. So we'll submit this and then it will be more clarified. I'm, I'm first compiling this program. Let me check the program name. Okay, it's string 2. We are compiling string program as of now. In a while, we'll be compiling string 2 as well. Submit. It's max is 0. So it's success. Now we'll execute our program. Here also we need to change this program to string and we'll submit this. So it's max is zero, success. I'm opening the program simultaneously so that we can see what are the statements which got executed. I'm opening spool now. So, in the program, as we discussed, first was the inspect statement, which was counting how many A's are there in the string. So, when we count, it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, it is displaying the number. Count of A in the string is 6. Then, in the next statement, we did a replace of A by X. Then, we inspected this for all A's. So, in WS string after replace statement you cannot see there is no A and then we are doing a count of this count of A this time is 0 so this is about inspect statement with telling and replacing option now we'll start with string and unstring string verb is used to concatenate the strings using string statement two or more strings of characters can be combined to form a longer string delimited by clause is compulsory here you can see delimited by so what I did is first of all I displayed what's there in string 1 string 2 and string 3 and I have put the value in string 1 as welcome in string 2 as 2 and in string 3 as tutorial point then what I will do is I will use string command delimited by size so it can be delimited by space as well so what does that mean when the size is over it will be moving it to w string the main one where we are concatenating it if we put a space so the first space it encounters it will take till that part only so we have used space here in unstring so first we'll focus on what is this size so it will take the complete eight characters of this and it will put into w string as we are moving it to into w string in the second case in string 2 it will take the three bytes from here or the three characters and it will move it to w string again and in the third one also so in the end it will concatenate this all three terms and it will display in w string so here we have given display w string just to check what's the value inside this as of now forget about go para we'll cover it in a while then we have unstring so here what I did is we need to now break the string into different parts I'm using the same string which we created just in the previous step in WS string we have welcome space to space tutorials point 
here we are doing it delimited by space the first space it encounters it will put that part in in this part ws ustr1 unstring1 and the second space when it encounters it will put that part into this thing and similarly for the third space also so here if we mention size or if you mention anything like if you if you want to mention asterisk whenever it encounters a, an asterisk it should move that part into the first string so we can do that also and then we are displaying unstring 1 unstring 2 and unstring 3 then we have stop run forget about a para also we'll discuss this so we'll first compile this then we'll submit this let me check the module yeah, it's string 2 only because last time I changed it and I pressed F12 to cancel the changes so that I don't need to change it again this time in the hello world also in this program also I did the same thing so it's a success we'll write submit if you want to see which program I submitted you can see it here it's string 2 only now we'll go to spool check the output okay so we'll open the module simultaneously so first we are displaying the string one two three here you can see string one is welcome two is two third is double string then we are using string command to concatenate concatenate these three strings and here is the result w string welcome to tutorials point now in the second paragraph what I'm doing is I'm unstringing W string using delimited by space and I'm putting the results into this this and this so here you can see welcome to tutorials point is W string and we are unstringing it and putting the values in unstring 1 2 and 3 and here it's welcome it encountered space so that's where welcome is in first one then it again started from T then 2 then in the third place again it encountered a space so it, it's here in the uh, unstring 2 similarly for tutorials point 3 so this is all about string and unstring now we'll discuss go to statement here you can see I have commented this out I will remove the comment here now what will happen our program will start execution from here it will display it will string then it will encounter this thing go to a00 para so from here it will go to this para a00 para and it will display bypassing unstring step using go to statement and it will stop run so what will happen in this scenario go in perform statement we have discussed that the control comes back to the previous statement but in go to statement control will permanently go from that position to where we are pointing so in this scenario it will go to a para here and it will execute this one even if you remove stop run as well from here it will it will be executed because the point is it will after go to it will not encounter any other statement so this unstring step will be bypassed so what we'll do is we'll submit this and we'll see what will happen So it's success. Now we'll submit the JCL. We'll go to spool. It's again success. Here you can see after string part, it went to go to statement and bypassed it, bypassing unstring step using go to statement. So this is all about inspect, string, unstring, and go to statement. In the next video, we'll start with file handling.